And here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Samrek. I'm Geneva. And I'm Zara. We've been on this binge of Conan and Jordan Slansky. And it continues. And it continues. The last one we did was counseling, couples counseling. Mm -hmm. Was it Emma? Yeah, Emma. Emma. Conan was I Emma. Didn't meet this girl. With yeah. The scarf. With the scarf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, are we ready to just jump into the next let's one? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So this one here is Conan takes Jordan Schlansky coffee tasting. It's gotta be freaking good. <laughs> so uh, Jordan's all about the coffee, yeah? Yes. With the espresso machine and Dude, all that I stuff. He's gonna, I can't wait. <laughs> I have. Yeah, so if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell. All right, let's do this again. And here we go. We're here at Intelligentsia Coffee with my friend Jordan <laughs> Schlansky. Now, Jordan, uh, you consider yourself a bit of a coffee expert, do you not? I enjoy coffee. You enjoy <laughs> coffee. And uh, you enjoy coffee to the point that you purchased, with show money, <laughs> a uh, espresso maker. Is that right? And had it placed near your office? It was yes. a reasonable purchase. <laughs> reasonable purchase, but you didn't ask me first. It's not out of line with the normal status quo of the office. Did you ask me first? No. Anyway, we've established <laughs> the point that Jordan stole from me uh, and bought an espresso Space machine. Space. That's how much he loves coffee. This gentleman right here is Sam. Is that right, Sam? Yep. Sam, good to see you. Yeah, what does intelligentsia mean? Is it an Italian word? Uh, it's an old political party during the wars. I but, see. But do you know, do you know, you know Italian? It's not an Italian word. Okay. All right, but do you know what it means, intelligentsia? I was just told it was an old political party during the war. <laughs> you being a wise ass with me right no, now? That's what he just said. That's why I was told. Don't with me. All right? I'll take that coffee machine away from you and I will stuff it down your pants. I literally I will turn on that espresso machine, get it going with hot liquids, and I will shove it down the front of his pants and watch it and watch it cook his scrotum. And then you will add some latte. Jordan, I, I see you eyeing this. Do you want to buy this for the office? <laughs> this is the same screen that Jordan sees in his mind every time he tries to register an emotion. Look <laughs> Jordan, tell us what you know about the roasting process. Well, it's important that when coffee is brewed, the beans are at the right level after the roast. Too soon, the beans are still degassing. Too late, the beans have become stale. I degassed about three minutes ago. <laughs> I love this. That's my favorite label that I've seen in a long time. I don't know if you can see that. Bean Probe. <laughs> I must consult the Bean Probe. <laughs> what kind of bean is in there? That's a coffee from uh, Guatemala. That's a Guatemalan bean. You like a Guatemalan bean? I expect it's 100% Arabica. That's the trend today in uh, most modern coffee shops. Although traditionally speaking, the espresso in Italy was a combination of Arabica and Robusta. And the problem with single origin is that often there's one flavor profile. So for your perfect cup of coffee, Jordan, what do you want to taste? Yeah, what's your perfect cup of coffee? My underlying flavor profile is chocolate. Isn't that called cocoa? <laughs> Isn't that what kids drink? Why don't you just have a cup of cocoa in the morning? What you're saying is not logically sound. I'm Why? talking about a flavor profile of chocolate within coffee. How do you like your meat? Medium rare to rare. See? So for coffee, a lighter roast is essentially a more medium rare than a well done. I don't agree with that analogy. <laughs> you disagree with the coffee expert? Coffee is like black truffles. Its true flavor comes out only through heat. Hold me back. <laughs> Get you back! Look at it, it's perfect. Has anyone ever fallen into this machine and been mixed in with the beans accidentally? And when they went to drink it, it was filled with human bone and blood and gore? Jordan, why don't you take a closer look? Jordan, just lean in. Okay, Sam, tell us, where are we now? We're in the cupping room. The cupping room, and we are joined uh, by the beautiful Eden. Yes. So we're going to taste some coffee now. Tell us what to do. So each of these three cups is the same coffee. Some are blends, some are single origin coffees. What kind of flavors are you tasting? I'm getting coffee on this side of my mouth. And over here, I'm getting uh, more coffee. And on the front, I'm picking up strong hints of coffee. What are you getting, Jordan? A is fruitier. You're getting a guava. mango? Getting a guava? Mango, papaya. What else? Papaya. Papaya? How are you getting papaya? I'm definitely not getting papaya. And you're not getting papaya. Oh you know what? You're having a small stroke. That's what's happening. We have to get you to the hospital within the month. 
I'm really not rooting for you to win. <laughs> Do you have a standout favorite, either of you? I like earthy qualities of certain samples. I like fruitier qualities of other samples. That he does. <laughs> Where do you guys stand on, like, putting a flavoring into the coffee? This is one that I enjoy. It's chocolate chip cookie. We put a lot of effort working with our producers, and then Sam does his wonderfulness roasting. So we typically find that the chocolate chip cookie overshadows the effort. This is my favorite right now. <laughs> this is, hmm. I'm getting milk, and I'm getting a chocolate chip cookie. Just try that, please. I'm not interested. Come <laughs> sit. Close your eyes. Does that not take you back to childhood? When you'd come into the house? No, it doesn't. And your mother would say, Jordan, Jordan, they made you some cookies. And then she'd pause and say, why don't you ever make eye contact with me? <laughs> <laughs> the cookies were made with monoglycerides. Favorite? This might be my favorite. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. Oh my God! That's very good. There is some traditional basis for this drink. Cafe Campana uh, does exist in Italy, although this whipped cream is an artificially processed product once again. <laughs> What were you saying? <laughs> this is artificially processed. And there are no qualities of the cream that come forward. Oh my god! He just spit that out! I inhaled a lot of the gas propellant. I have to assume that's dangerous as well. I think you'd be fine. It only affects ah, humans. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! I think the real art of espresso in particular as a method of preparation is not so much in the terms of the bean itself, but in the preparation of the bean. I take issue with the way a lot of coffee bars in the United States prepare their espresso. I would rather watch this table spin than listen to anything you have to say. Traditionally, espresso is about seven grams of coffee for 25 minutes before dying. Uh, Eden, what's going to happen now? We're going to be making drinks. So I figured we'd start with espresso, since I've heard that's what you're super into. The problem with this process here is that, again, I prefer the traditional style of seven grams of coffee per 25 milliliters of water. Mm, this is our espresso. Try. Oh, sure. What do you think? This is the American style of espresso. It's fruity. It's a little over-concentrated for my taste. I don't like the American <laughs> coffee culture. What they perceive to be a good espresso is an espresso that has had so much coffee jammed into a small amount of water that they suddenly perceive it as something that they've never tasted before, and therefore it's good. Get him. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're looking for is we're looking for the proper amount of extraction for each coffee particle. Based on so, what criteria? Based on the actual solubles that we're extracting. But the issue is, that if I push it over 22, now. 23, and I go towards my 30% extraction, those tannins are going to overpower any of the sugars and acids that we had in there. That was fantastic what you just did. You just oh, and I loved it. Um, thank you. Thank you. You got schooled, son. <laughs> For days. Too speechless. What do you think we've learned today? Have we learned anything? I think what we've learned is that coffee, like most of the sweetest things in life, is best enjoyed with people you care about. I'm going to throw up. Ah. Oh. He went all heartstrings at that end. Oh, he got butt hurt. <laughs> Dang. Nah, she told him, huh? He straight yeah. tore into it. That was kind of cool. <laughs> so I personally don't know the difference between these coffee things. No, yeah. They all taste you know, the same to me, man. I don't. I just know espresso. You gotta take it like a shot. It's like I've always thought it was espresso, but it's espresso, yeah. Espresso. I've always heard people espresso than like, espresso, espresso. Listen, I love the way coffee smells. I can smell it all day. Coffee candles. Mm -hmm. Love that smell. Can't drink it. Yeah. I know in Italy they don't really have a Starbucks because it's their. Are you sure? Or is that according to Jordan or are you fact check? <laughs> Because their coffee is more. Like I, I believe there's bits where they both go to Italy. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> I think someone's telling 
Elephant did that, which yeah. we have to oh, watch. Yeah. Oh, to see if it's the right. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we so we're, we're getting these uh, bits from supposedly the order in which Jordan Slansky appeared on the Conan gotcha. O'Brien show. Oh, boy. So that's why everybody's like request for this one and that one. But I'm just going down the list basically of like the video that came out, the date. So it's in the chrono chronological order you know, by chronological. dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chronological order by dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an order by date. So Can't wait for them. It'll, it'll eventually get there. So we good? I love this. Oh, yeah. This yeah. one is fun. Yeah. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Chee-hoo.